Hi folks. I haven't done a gameplay or commentary video in quite a while. I've just been too busy playing, streaming, and recording. But I've spent nearly no time editing and cutting, so the result is no videos. This one is going to take a while to work through, and I'm likely going to say some things you disagree with, or flat out don't like. I'd ask a favor first, and that's to think about what I'm saying before you react to it. It's going to require some patience and attention to get, to get through, so please bear with me. The main topic here is Battlefield 1 and my opinions of it in the franchise. Before we get into that, let me provide some background so that you can understand where I'm coming from. As of this vid, I've just turned 44. I've been playing first-person shooters since the very first Doom game. That was released in 1993, which mean I, mean, means I was 20 at the time. In other words, a young adult. I wasn't a teenager, nor a child. Basically, I'm old. I've been around. Doom wasn't my first PC game, but it was the first game that I played with a mouse and a keyboard and I understood at the time that it was going to change everything. And it did. Now I use that brief history lesson to give you an idea of the games I've seen and been around. I'll refer back to that from time to time during my rhetoric here. Now Battlefield 1 has earned EA a bucket or two of cash. It's a very financially successful game, there's no question. And while some popular opinions would lead you to believe that the game is dying, it just isn't. I'm not playing it as much anymore, but a ton of other people are. DICE basically made the game that people wanted, and people bought it and are playing it. It's that simple. However, there are a bunch of folks that aren't playing it as much any longer, and those are the old Battlefield vets. I happen to be one of them. Now, I didn't start with Battlefield 1942 because I was too heavily buried in Soldier of Fortune 2 and Unreal Tournament at the time. I was actually competing professionally in Soldier of Fortune 2. But when Battlefield 2 launched, I was hooked. And I've been hooked ever since. I, like a lot of the other vets, are fairly displeased with what we see. Fairly easy gunplay, gadget and grenade spam, and no real focus on skillful play. And on a more personal level, I really never wanted to see a World War I game, nor a World War II game, nor a Vietnam era game. I prefer modern day shooters with modern day weaponry and vehicles. But that's just me. The main point is, the game is a bit too easy for the scrubs to pick up and play, and not rewarding enough for the more skilled players. This decline that I call it in the entire franchise actually began back in Battlefield 3. Remember the Soflam, or the laser designator, and the guided shells? A clanmate and I would sit in a tank, me in the driver's seat, and he in the third seat. He'd spot a helicopter with the laser, and I'd shoot it down with a guided shell. Over and over and over again. We got so good at it that we'd start getting hit teams out trying to kill, to kill us in, in various games just because we were pissing the heli pilots off so badly. Thinking back on it, though, it does feel kind of slimy to have done that. But that was just the beginning. Battlefield 4 took it to a whole new level. The main battle tank's secondary weapon, right when you began, was the MBT Law, I think it was called. Just fire it in the general direction of the tank that you're trying to kill and drive away. The weapon would do everything else for you. Grenades everywhere, multiple rocket and grenade launchers, UCAVs, mortars, all these things were very spammy and not very skillful. Now with Battlefield 1 here, it's more of the same. Mortars, gas grenades, incendiary grenades, and other garbage. And people are using these silly crutches in the game and to a massive extent. All right, let's go back a bunch of years. A lot of the first-person shooters that I played as a younger adult all had a super weapon of some sort. Quake 2 had the BFG 10K. Unreal Tournament had the Redeemer. They all had something that would obliterate a pile of folks in one fell swoop. They were weapons that people didn't use. Why? Because everyone playing knew that they were garbage, and the community of players would literally shame people out of using them. If someone in an Unreal Tournament game used the Redeemer the in-game chat would instantly turn against him, and he wouldn't use it again. Basically, players at a time had a sense of honor about them. As an aside, the phrase noob tube actually started in Soldier of Fortune 2. 
it referred to the M203 launcher that was mounted under the M4 rifle. If you used it, you were shamed nonstop until you switched weapons to the AK or the MP5. No one escaped that in-game shaming either. And it had an overall positive effect because of the aforementioned honor. People just stopped using it. That honor, however, is long gone in most players today. People who use any crunch that the game, crutch that the game provides them to get an advantage over their counterparts on the other team. And that means more ga- gadgets, more spam, and more cheese, basically. Less gunplay. But unfortunately, it's also what people seem to want. Now, this is going to seem like an odd connection to video gaming, but again, I plead for your patience and attention. I have another passion, and that's Corvettes. I've been driving them since I was 23, and I absolutely love them. Each new generation of Corvette brings a bunch of new awesomeness that the previous generation either couldn't or didn't have. My current 2017 Corvette Z06 is, far and away, the best Corvette I've ever owned. But wow, did this generation of Corvette take a huge hit with uh, mixed receptions when it was introduced in 2013. A lot of people hated its appearance, specifically the ass end of it. They'd say things like, quote, it's a Corvette and it's supposed to have round taillights, unquote. That was one of the very common complaints. And as it turns out, the vast majority of the people complaining were old-timers. But General Motors knew that. The thing is, they also knew that the people bitching about the car's appearance, i.e. the old-timers, were getting older. We all are. And those older folks at some point will stop buying Corvettes out of necessity. GM understood that they had to move the needle on the average buying age downward. They had to make a car that would appeal to younger folks. Now, that doesn't mean younger folks in their 20s would run run right out and buy a Corvette because generally they can't afford it. But they'd at least think about the car. And the guys in their 30s and 40s might actually run out and buy one. This meant that the Corvette would continue as a viable car because it wasn't only attractive to the older timers. Can you see the connection? DICE can't keep making the game for us old Battlefield vets because at some point us old Battlefield vets are going to become too old to be playing video games. Now that age is different for each individual, mind you. But there is a point in every gamer's life where they're going to say, you know what? I'm actually too old for this shit. If Battlefield is to survive as a franchise, they simply can't continue to cater to us old timers. They have to draw younger gamers in. Battlefield 1 may be their first attempt to draw a bunch of younger folks in that have absolutely no sense of video gaming honor and think it's perfectly okay to abuse spammy weapons and gadgets. Now, remember, these are my opinions based on my observations of the gaming world for the last 24 years, give or take. You might not agree with them, and that's perfectly okay. I encourage responses and discussions in the comment section, but please think about some of the things I've said here before you do. I hope you've enjoyed this little rhetoric and thanks for stopping by.